Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Texas Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Star Cross Scarf. And this is the second scarf in the Wonderful Hots Crochet Along 2022. So uh, feel free to check out my channel there. You will find the matching beanie pattern here as well as the first two patterns for the first week of the crochet along. This crochet along runs for four weeks. So today we're looking at the star crossed scarf. Now this is a beautifully uh, textured scarf using a few different stitches instead including cross double crochet stitches and some star stitches here as you can see. Uh, it's worked as a solid piece and then at the end I have added a short fringe which I'll show you also how to do in this video. As far as the materials are concerned, for this pattern you're going to need a worsted weight yarn. Now the yarn I'm using is a little bit on the lighter side. This is the Two of Wands Color Theory yarn on lionbrand.com and uh, you're going to need two and a half balls. Each ball has about 246 yards and one half of the ball was dedicated toward my fringe. So uh, if you're not going to go with a fringe then you won't need it. The finished scarf is approximately 6 by 67 inches laid flat. You're also going to need a 4.5 or G7 um, millimeter crochet hook and links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also there in the description you'll find the direct link to the free written pattern that's on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Once again, take a look around, find that matching beanie pattern, and uh, I'm sure you'll find something that you love. This channel is updated weekly. Now our design today is worked all as one piece, and we're going to be working those shorter ends to begin. So what we're going to do is start by making a slip knot, and then by working a foundation chain, and the foundation chain is going to be 33 stitches. Uh, if you want to change the size of your scarf, you're going to want a multiple of three chains for this starting chain. There's 30, 31, 32, and 33. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin by working a single crochet into that second chain from your hook, and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of row one, we're going to chain two and turn our work. Your chain two does not count as a stitch. For row two, we're going to begin by working a double crochet into the first stitch, so into the stitch at the base of your turning chain. You're then going to work a crossed double crochet over the next three stitches. To work your crossed double crochet, you're going to yarn over, skip the next two stitches, and into your next stitch work one double crochet stitch. You're then going to chain one, now working back into the first skipped stitch, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook back, insert it into that first skipped stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. That's our crossed double crochet stitch. We're going to work cross double crochet stitches all the way across until we have one stitch remaining. So yarn over, skip the next two stitches, insert our hook in the next stitch, and work one double crochet. Chain one, now working over the last double crochet worked, and into this first skipped stitch, insert your hook and work one double crochet stitch. Ok, 
continue that all the way across until you have one stitch remaining. At the end of your row two, you'll have one stitch remaining and you're going to work a double crochet into that final stitch. Chain one and turn your work. For row three, we're going to work a single crochet into the first stitch and then single crochet in each stitch and each chain stitch, each chain space all the way across. So when you're working over your chain stitches, you can just insert your hook into the space and single crochet. So single crochet in each stitch and each chain one space all the way across. At the end of row three, when you come all the way across, you're going to finish with a single crochet into the top of that first double crochet. Remember that your chain two does not count as a stitch. So that's where you're working your final single crochet is into the top of that double crochet. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. We're now going to work our first row of star stitches. Our star stitches are a little bit tricky to get the hang of at first, but once you do, they're a lot of fun to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by inserting our hook into the second chain from our hook. Yarn over and draw up a loop. You're then going to insert your hook into the next chain, the first chain there of your starting chain three, yarn over and draw up a loop. Next, insert your hook into the, into the base of that starting chain, into the stitch that's at the base of the starting chain. Yarn over and drop a loop, and this is our beginning star stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, and one more time, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Once you have six loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops and chain one. That is your beginning star stitch. Every stitch after this in this row is going to be worked this way. And this is your complete star stitch. You're going to start by inserting your hook into that chain stitch. So this is the center of our star. You're going to insert your hook into that last chain that you just worked, yarn over and drop a loop. Next, you're going to insert your hook under the last loop that you drew up for the previous star stitch. So you can see it right here. You're going to insert your hook just under that loop. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Next, at the base of the star stitch you just worked, into that stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and drop a loop, four loops on your hook. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, and one more time, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops, and chain one. You're going to continue working these star stitches all the way across until you have one stitch remaining. So once again, insert your hook into the center of the stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Under that last leg, yarn over, draw up a loop. Into the base of the previous star stitch, in the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop and then insert your hook and draw up a loop in each of the next two stitches. Six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six and chain one. Repeat that all the way across.
once you come all the way across at the end of row four you have one stitch remaining you've chained to finish off your star stitch and you're simply going to work a half double crochet into that final stitch for row five chain one and turn your work we're now going to work row five by working a single crochet into the top of that first half double crochet next into the center of the next star stitch so into that chain stitch you're going to work two single crochet stitches so there's my first and second both into the center of that star stitch which is that chain one you're then going to skip the star stitch itself and into the next center into the next chain stitch work two single crochet you're going to repeat that all the way across into the next chain stitch work two single crochet stitches skip into the next chain stitch work two single crochet stitches all the way across to your final stitch Once you come all the way across at the end of row five, you're simply going to work a final single crochet just into the top of that star stitch, into that last star stitch. You should have once again a total of 32 single crochet stitches all the way across. Now for row six onward, we're going to repeat rows two, three, four and five until our work from the beginning measures 66 inches so row two started with the chain two turn your work double crochet in the first stitch and then your crossed double crochet stitches all the way across so starting at row two repeat rows two three four and five all the way through until your work from the beginning measures approximately uh, 60 six inches after you've done that you're then going to repeat your rows two so this cross stitch once more and row three one final time so when you finish uh, the body of your scarf you'll want to finish off on that row three and uh, then you can fasten off and weave in your ends and then we're going to add a fringe. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish kind of working this row and a row three, and then I'll meet you back here and show you how I worked my fringe for this star cross star scarf. So once you have worked your scarf to about 66 inches, you can fasten off, weave in your ends. I obviously have not gone that far with this one. Uh, I've just worked a little bit of, of swatch, and then I want to show you how I made my fringe. There's lots of ways of making fringes for your scarves. But what I did was I took lengths of yarn. Now each of these are about 9 inches long, and I did 6 for each tassel. So what I did was taking those six lengths of yarn, I pulled them through and I kind of went just above that first single crochet row and uh, spread them out evenly along the short end of the scarf and you're just going to use your hook and pull them through. You want to keep them fairly even as far as their lengths are concerned and pull them down so that up here that's about halfway along again you want them fairly even and then all I did was I tied a knot so I took all 12 strands of yarn then and just simply tied an easy knot making sure to pull all of those ends through I'm not sure what I've done here so I'm going to go and do that again. Maybe for years make them a little bit longer. They're a little bit easier to tie. But again, simply pull 
all of your strands through. There we go, that's better. And then you're going to pull the knot tight up toward the base of your scarf. Now your lengths of yarn, uh, if you want them longer, definitely make them longer, maybe about 12 inches or so. Um, but I just added a short fringe to my other scarf, so that's what I've done today. Then once you've done and you've worked these groups all the way along your short end, at the very end, you're just going to go and trim it so that they're all the same length. And that's all there is to working the fringe for the star-crossed scarf. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. Keep an eye open for the next crochet patterns in this wonderful Hats Crochet Along, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Thank you.